welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute wall hanging planter doohickey thing using the leftover packaging from the Toy Mini brands. Stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. All right, y'all, let us get started. First off, what you are going to need, mini brands. It's upside down, mini brands. Brands. I know a lot of y'all probably have kids that love mini brands. I have boys and they're not into this kind of thing, but I love them. I love miniatures. I've always been fascinated with miniatures, you know, like train sets and dioramas and things like that. I get these for me. <laughs> but anyway, they come in this little gold container here. Depending on which series you get, you know, they come in different colors. But anyway, you're going to need some of these. You're also going to need some spray paint. This is the Rust-Oleum Polished Metallic Spray Paint in the color Rose Gold. You're also going to need some shelf liner. This is Easy Liner from Duck Brand. I got this at Walmart, okay? And I got this, look at that. It's sort of like a marble looking pattern there. And I thought that would look good with this Rose Gold paint. So we have that. And then I also have one of these signs. Now this sign here is missing an E, so I got it pretty cheap at Dollar General today. But it looks like this, it's just a big long sign. It's supposed to say home, but now it says home. <laughs> and it was $5, but like I said, I got it really cheap because it was missing the E. But any sort of sign like this will work. I know Dollar Tree, you know, has like the long wall hanging signs. Sometimes you can use that, you can use whatever you like. But anyway, let's talk about these mini brands. This one's not open, I've already opened this one, but see, they come in a container like this, and then you just pull like the little rubber tab off, and then it opens up sort of like an orange. Ta-da, how awesome is that? <laughs> and then inside these, you have all of these little miniatures. Oh, how cute is that? Look, look, it's a little pack of bacon. <laughs> bacon makes everything better. Y'all know my fascination with bacon, but anyway, look at that. It's a little pack of bacon. All right, so. It comes with all of these and they just pull apart. You'll see the bottom here is rubberized. Pop! And then you have all of these little individual plastic things. You see, I just took out the bacon and this is what it looks like. Kind of like a little orange slice. One side is flat and the other side sort of angles down. And then you have this little pocket here. And I thought, you know, I got to do something with all these. So what we're going to do is, oh look, almond milk. Almond milk. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open all of these. I don't know what that is. Never seen one of those in mine before. But anyway, let me open all these up and take everything out and get rid of this plastic. And then we'll jump into the actual craft. Okay, so I got them all open. You know what? This is a little shelving unit, which is so cute because I've never, I've never gotten these in any of them before. And it comes with these little stickers with the barcodes and stuff that you can stick on the front. And then you put your items on the shelf like that. But yeah, I always wanted a big fancy dollhouse when I was little and I never did get one. Um, so I'm just, I just love miniatures. And look at this, look at this little jar of cloths and pickles. Look at that, how cute is that? And you know what, I always talk about how I don't have enough time to do anything. Finally, I got enough time. I've got some extra time. <laughs> I got time on my hands. Oh gosh, Amber. We need some crackers to go with all this cheese. But anyway, I have quite a collection of these little things. If you stick around after the video, after the video, I'll show you some of the ones that I have. But anyway, you've got them all open, remove all the plastic, and now you have all these little containers. So what we're going to eventually be doing with those little containers, let me move my paper here, is we're gonna be putting them on this board. And I'm gonna be taking this, like this putty knife here, and I'm gonna to try to just take this off. There's some tiny little staples here but um, this board isn't very thick, so the staples don't go in very deeply. We're just gonna pop all this off, and then we're going to take that, see all these sticking up? I'm gonna have to um, probably get some pliers or some wire cutters and either cut those off or just bend them down flat. Because we are gonna be covering this, so you know, you don't really, let's see. Gotta be careful, there's a staple in there, I felt it. Yeah, we just pull this off here. There we go. Throw that over there. And I'll just pop this off. So I don't really need these letters. Because like I said, the E was missing. Woohoo! The E was missing. Oh, look. That one was glued on. That one was stapled on. All right, Dollar General. All right, so now we have this. 
So if you can see the little staples sticking up, hello, the little staples sticking up, I want to try to um, cut those down with wire cutters or just try to bend them down flat. You're probably not even going to be able to see them once we get the contact paper on because it's pretty thick. Okay, it's pretty thick and we're going to be gluing stuff to it. But I want to try to get this as smooth as possible. So let's see about how many of these. Look, how cute is that? Let's see. I'm going to try to see about how many of these. And I do think they're all the same size. Just see about how many is going to fit. Stop it. There's two. All right, there's three, four. And the good thing about, okay, this one is bigger. Yeah. Now pay attention because see how this one, this one is bigger than that one. Just try to find them so that they're all the same size. But anyway, I will go through and make sure I have them all the same size before I glue them all down and paint them. Some are bigger, some are smaller. And I've got a whole bag full of these, so I'll probably go back and find the bigger ones. But I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think six or five. Let's do five. I think five of these will be just fine. So yeah, I'm gonna take five of these. Like I said, I'm gonna get all the bigger ones because there is a size difference. I'll go through my bag and I'm gonna get out the bigger ones. Now I'm gonna spray paint these with that rose gold paint. And then we're also gonna spray paint this board. Don't worry about getting paint in the center here because we're gonna cover it up. But anyway, let me go paint and I'll be back. All right, so I think the paint is all dry on everything and I did the best I could with these little staples here. I cut them down. Most of them are pretty flat, pretty flat. Like I said, I just trimmed that down with my wire cutters and then I went ahead and cut a strip of the contact paper that will fit. What I really like about this brand is it has, you know, all of the lines on the back so you can cut straight and so, you know, like all cattywampus and all that. So it will fit in, should fit in pretty perfectly. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this in there. So let's move this up. This is what the little plastic pieces look like painted. I really like that paint. I think I'm going to use it again. So I'm just going to start to peel this. There we are. Just a little bit, not all the way down. Now I'm going to fold the paper on the underside just to expose just a little bit, okay? And then I'm going to try, because this stuff really sticks, okay? Oh, and you can see the edge of my table. I'll move over here. All right. Let's try to stick that down and try to get it even. So, you know, as we go down, it won't be sideways. And there we go. Just press it down, press it down. If you have like a debit card or a piece of plastic, you know, even a scraper that comes with your Cricut, you know, you can use that to just kind of ease it down. But now we're gonna go back and just grab this edge of the paper here and just go little at a time all the way down. Just peel a little bit. Don't peel the entire backing off and then try to stick it down because you're gonna make a mess. <laughs> You'll get bubbles and it might turn out crooked and you just never know. So anyway, I'm just going to work it all the way down here, just smoothing it down as I go. And then when I'm done with that, we'll come back and attach the little doohickeys. Okay, so I have the contact paper all down and I think it looks pretty good. And I think what I wanna do, well, that the original plan anyway was to take some of that really thin cord that's like this, you know, that you get at the Dollar Tree. And I want to go around the inside with it. I think that's what I want to do. I don't know. Let me glue these down first and then we'll see. But anyway, let me pick and see about where I want to put these. And I think I'm going to glue this first one down with just a little bit of space to spare down here at the bottom. I'm running out of space on my table. I've got a lot of projects going on. So let's see. So I'm going to use just hot glue with this because I'm going to be putting some artificial greenery in here and it's not going to be all that heavy. Now you could use this to put earrings, rings, bracelets, you know, whatever you can cram down in there. You can use this for all kinds of stuff. And if you're going to use something heavy in here, I would suggest that you back it up with a little bit of E6000. You know, put your hot glue maybe right here and then just put, you know, a line of E6000 around here and stick it down and then let the glue set up. Like I said, I know what's going in mine. Push this glue stick. Use my chin to push the glue stick down. All right. 
So now I'm going to have to hold this at an odd angle so I can make sure that, you know, I'm getting this, you know, straight. Because watch me glue it on crooked. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up just for a second. Let's make sure this is straight. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm just going to hold it here for a second and let that glue harden up. All right, so I believe the glue has stuck down. And what I'm going to be using in here is, it. well, the tag is gone. <laughs> this box wood that came from Walmart. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe just cut a few sprigs of this, or I can just pull it apart. Wah! -ha! And just glue it down in there like so. And I'm going to be using hot glue to just glue this down in there like that. So I want to go ahead and take this apart and let's just stick some down in there and see what it's going to look like and see about how far apart we need to space these puppies. All right. Let's go ahead and place that there. And this is what I suggest you do, you know, before you start gluing everything into place, you know, just to see how everything is going to lay out. You can kind of know where to put it. All right. Then there's the third one. Keep it about like that. Okay. Now this boxwood, I got some last year from Walmart and it didn't have like this weird powdery coating. But I noticed this year it's got, it's got like something on it. I don't know, it feels not like baby powder, but you know, just, I don't know. It's got a weird feeling to it, I'll tell you that. So let's put that there. Okay, and now let's take this next one, and I think, you know what, let's bring this down just a little bit. There we go. All right, I'm just putting the greenery in this top one up here to make sure I have plenty of room, and I think this positioning, I think, is going to be okay. So I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do, do you know? Um, <laughs> I'm going to get my pencil here. And I'm just going to mark the bottom, just right there. So that I'll know where the bottom of it needs to go. And then I'm going to take the greenery out and I'm going to glue these down. So I am going to do that and I'll be right back. All right, so all of these are glued on. And now I, I do think I want to take some of this cording and I'm going to glue it on the inside of the frame here all the way around. So I think I'm going to start. That's why I like this glue gun with the little pointy pointy tip on it. Um, you can get, you know, into the tight crevices and everything without making big old blobs of glue everywhere. And this is in my Amazon shop. I'm going to put the link for it in the description box and I'll try to pin a comment. Excuse me. I got the hiccups. Um, but anyway, yeah. Look in the description box and you'll see the link for this glue gun. It's my absolute favorite. And when this one blows up, I'll just turn right back around and get another one. But anyway, see, so we're just going to put a blob of glue here. Now, if you follow me on social media, this is something exciting that I've been working on. Well, I'm excited about it. My um, adult coloring books that I've been designing and releasing for sale on Amazon. I know so many of you have already purchased one, and y'all absolutely have no idea how much that means to me. Because, you know, the world is ugly out here. And it can be scary to take that leap, you know, and do something that you really want to do, especially if it, you know, has to deal with the public and it's in the public eye. Um, but y'all have been so awesome about it and gotten such good feedback, you know, about what I'm doing. But um, yeah, look below for the links to those as well. Okay, see that? Now we're just going to do the whole thing all the way around. Okay, so all of these are glued down. The rope is glued down, and I'm, I'm really liking how it's turning out so far. So anyway, now the only thing left to do is just to glue in our greenery. I don't even know how many little spriggy doodles I want to use. Let's just hold it over the table so I don't glop glue everywhere. You see what I'm doing? I'm just putting glue here on the end, and then I'm just going to stick it down inside there and just let the glue set up. I'm just going to work my way up here. Oh gosh, I'm running out of my hot glue. I need another glue stick. Where are they? I don't even know where they Oh yeah, they're way over there. Of course. <laughs> way out of reach. But yeah, I'm just going to work my way up. Gluing these in. And then 
when I get done with this, like I said, I will show you all my little miniature doohickeys so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I was talking to someone about doing this video and she really didn't know what the mini brands were. And she's like, well, that might be a good idea for my grandkids. They, they might like playing with those. So yeah, I'll show you, um, and they're just too cute, but I'll show you after I get all of this greenery put in here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now, I've been playing around with this, and y'all know how I am. Sometimes, why is this here? Sometimes I change my mind on things, and I add a little bit of something, something. What I want to do is, I want to take some of this rope, I think, and I want to go just right around the edge of this. Because if you can see here, like the little holes where they actually snap together, you can see that. And uh, no, sir, I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is get these little glue strings off. And then, yeah, I'm going to take a piece of this. Man. And just kind of, and that's going to take me a minute, okay? Because I'm going to have to go really slowly with this and really get it into place and hold it down. And just work it around the very, very edge. Because to me, it just looks a little unfinished. I don't know. I don't, I like it, but not 100% the way it is. So, yeah. We're just going to glue that down right there. But anyway, um, if you don't want to see the little mini things, you can skip ahead to the end of the video where I will show you the entire project. But anyway, what these are, they're just little miniatures. You can get these at Walmart. They're like $6.97, something like that, for a container of them. And you get uh, six things, five, th I don't know, six things. I lost the wrapper. <laughs> but anyway... Y'all saw these the almond breeze and the pickles, thyme and the bacon, lunchables, the sharp cheddar, little caramels. Here's some cheese. And this is like all, you know, real products you can go into the store and find. My kids get a kick out of seeing it. They don't want to play with them, but they get a kick out of it. You got your baby bell, your little Philadelphia cream cheese, stove top. Salad dressing. How cute is that? This is some shampoo. I love this one. The crushed red pepper. And the Baker's Dipping Chocolate. This Frank's Red Hot Sauce. The squeezed garlic. The macaroni and cheese, <laughs> the almond nut thins. These are just so fascinating to me. The chicken stock, more cheese. Uh, there's more of that shampoo. The Old Bay seasoning, how cute is this? Another of the almond breeze, and here's more macaroni and cheese. Y'all know how I feel about bo boxed macaroni and cheese. Can't stand that stuff. Um, and the sharp cheddar. But anyway, I've seen people um, on Pinterest, they take the certain things that they have and they make little Christmas ornaments, you know, little decorations and things like that. And I forgot what the lady had, but she made the cutest little Christmas ornament by putting these things down inside of it. And, you know, that that's where you get them. That's where they come from. Oh, look here. Look, a little taco seasoning. How cute is that? But there's nothing in here, okay? It's just padding. So you don't let your kids, you know, try to rip them up or anything. Because there's nothing in it. Well, that's where my bead went. Okay, I was making some jewelry the other day and I flipped a bead. Didn't know where it went. And I see it down in there. That's where it went. And it landed up in this little bowl. Because I had all this stuff out messing with it. But anyway, I'm going to continue to glue the rope around here. And then stick around... And I'll show you the final product. All right, y'all. There it is. I've tried to zoom in on this picture so that you can see it in its entirety. And I know, you know, with projects of that size, sometimes it's hard to get it all in frame when I'm taking a photo. But anyway, there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And hope to see you all next time. Bye.